back is. Let's go, let's go jump in this water fast, kind of quick solo little sesh. Let's get it. Yeah. kind of dirty it's not kind of windy it looks really dirty actually damn that sucks your boy brought the wagon to the i saw i saw i don't know you can't, i don't know if i'm getting old or what but i love this wagon dog just gonna have to hide them that's all you never know chronics come out with their bikes oh smooth wagon pink shot Okay, so there's guys out there fishing. Probably can't see them, but uh, that's where I wanted to go, get action over there. <laughs> but I'm the type of person where it's like, he was there first, he got all his poles out, you know what I mean? I see him, I just seen him throw his line out. He's probably not packing up soon. I don't want to be that guy in the water, kind of like scaring all the fish away from his, away from his lines and shit, so. I got a game plan. I think you maybe I go past him. I could probably do that. I'll have to find a new spot to jump in. I'm so used to jumping in from the trench. You know what I mean? I know where everything is. But going past that, we gotta see. So let's just stop real quick on the side. I'll check the water and then we decide what we're gonna do. Okay, so the water does look pretty clear. Right over this bend. Had some get some pools, but I would only have from here to here. It's not that much. I'm thinking we'll just walk past and see what happens. Just go for it. Yeah, we already made it this far. I don't really want to turn around. I really want to jump in the water anyway, so I guess we just go into the trails and see what happens. Go past those guys that's fishing a little bit more down. So we see. Okay, here we go. Ooh, it's gonna be a little trail. You know what? If I don't end up jumping in, there's a nice little hike. Woo! Putting my wagon to the test. tripping myself out I went from like uh, I went from not diving in a while not ever going solo dives to not only solo dives but now I'm doing a solo dive hiking this fucking trail diving at a spot that nobody really dives yeah let me just see what happens just go for it hopefully catch something good I would love to catch an uhu a big size uhu or uh, Omilo, I'd love to catch me in Omilo, I'll be so stoked. Oh, this is one trek and a half. What am I doing? I don't, this could be my first time jumping in from here. I just want to pass those guys that's fishing. Pass those guys and swim out. Staying ashore. It's, it's kind of more clear over here. Yeah, this is pretty sick. Oh, my arm's getting sore. Oh, this is a shoulder workout, holding up the camera, I'll tell you that. Fucking deltoids. Island groove, we have nothing to lose. Oh no. Okay, we see what happens. <sighs> it's a nice ass view over here, right? Look at that. That looks sick, right? <laughs> okay, I never did go past this spot, so some new territories for me. How's it? Survive. Okay, so let's pass them. Now we just gotta find a spot to jump in. It's flat today, so kinda excited, not gonna lie. Try someplace new, try someplace different. Okay. I don't know how much of a 
try the next bend, see what happens. Off road, put them in four low. Oh, there's a fence over here. I've never been over here. So, so like a gate. Oh, they still pressing. Nice. They got everything set up. They probably was here from last night. Nice shit. I love seeing people grind and press their hobbies, you know. If they're hunting, keep us alive. Wouldn't mind jumping in from here, but I don't know how the hell I can get all my gear down here. So let's just keep going. They had the jams down there. Love will keep us alive. Okay. Oh, this is safe. This is true. Okay. I think at this point I gotta figure out how I'm jumping in. I think this is the best spot. See all the smooth rocks? I think I launched right from here. Okay, let's figure this shit out. Let's go, let's go, let's go. We're getting excited. The killer, if this thing had straps, I'll make them backpack. That'll be killer. Hip, hip, hip. You like the good fish, is what you gotta do in Oahu. There's no Hollywood diving. You gotta press, you gotta hike. Okay, let's go. I'm a little excited. There's the sun. All right, let's get it. We're here. Jump in, stay in the shallows, telephone Uhu and Omilu. Maybe I head down this way first, then I head back. Um, anyways, I'm gonna change my gear and jump in. You guys ready? Coming along. You guys jumping in the water with me. Mau Kau Kau. Right. So we all suited up. We got the venture gear on. Um, I'll see you guys in the water. Let's go. Let's get it. Fucking, I'm excited. Test out some new grounds. I'm excited. Let's go. Let's get it. Okay, so as soon as I jumped in the water, I noticed this huge barracuda. I was like, oh, this thing is massive. So I flew my spoon, and I'm assuming, you know, since barracudas are like a predator fish, I'm assuming the spoon will get its attention, you know, same like the umbilus and stuff. So I take this drop on it, and I'm trying to approach it slowly. So I'm swimming towards it slowly, slowly, but right over here, he kind of notices me, and he backs away from the spoon. He swims away from me, and I'm kind of in, like, uh, shooting range, but... And I'm not really sure if I want a barracuda, you know what I mean? So, and I'm kind of hesitant. Let me like replay this real quick for you guys so you guys can see it. So he's like right in shooting range, but in my head, I'm, ah, I can probably just make excuses. <laughs> I was kind of hesitant because like I don't really eat barracuda. I'm not sure how you eat it and all that. So I don't want to just take pointless shots, you know what I mean? So he ended up swimming away and anyways. Okay, so this next drop, I'm in the shallows and I see a group of fish behind this reef over here. So I decide to like hide behind it because that's what it is. It's all about hiding. So I hide behind this reef. I stick my head out and I'm trying to see, you know, what we get, what we're getting in this pile of fish, you know. Um, all I see though is a pananu, but it's kind of small. So I decide to leave it and try it somewhere else. Okay, so I ended up seeing this nice sized papil um, swimming in the distance. So I'm all excited right now. So I take the drop and I'm gonna attempt to call it in. I got the spoon in my hand. I'm gonna start scratching the reef. You know, we see what happens.
Okay, so at this point, I am all stoked. I'm so stoked. I got the Milu that I wanted, that I set out for, you know what I mean? And I'm telling myself, like, look, I could I could jump out right now, and I'll be good. But I'm like, oh, let me, I just got in here, you know what I mean? Let me try a little bit more. Let me try to go for an Uhu. Um, let me get a nice, nice little mixed plate, you know what I mean? So I seen an Uhu right there. It's kind of checking me out. It kind of sees me already. I'm trying to hide by this ledge. So I'm kind of like just holding on, scratching a little bit, hoping it'll get curious. So I'm kind of just waiting, waiting, but um, yeah, this Uhu was kind of smart. He was out. He gave me no chance. Okay, so good news. I noticed the guys fishing or packing up their stuff. So I was like, okay, bet. Let me take some drops, you know, in the area that they're fishing at. Now that they're gone or now that they're leaving, it's no problem. You know what I mean? So I take the drop and I start throwing up sand and I'm trying to hide, but I don't like laying on flat reef like. I like hiding where there's boulders and stuff like that you see and where I can kind of hide my body and stuff and to me if you see boulders and sand at the same time like that's a that's a good hiding spot because I like I like throwing up sand I like throwing up sand better than scratching the reef I feel like it gets a, the attention of fish more but anyways I see these uhus in the background and I kind of I go for the left one because that one looks bigger I take the shot and I got them you know what I mean and usually I let go the gun or in this case I'm kind of swimming towards it because their body is so soft and they rip off easily you know what I mean it's, and right there I bust out my pocket knife which was in my venture wetsuit pocket another reason why you should buy one and I end up going down and my plan is to bring the fish you know what I mean so I can secure the catch because these guys they rip off so easily you know what I mean so that was my plan and I'm trying I'm trying to bring the fish small fail <laughs> small fail small fail i didn't end up bringing the fish on the water i should have just grabbed him by his eyes his gills brought him to the surface it's been a while for me you know i haven't dove in a minute you know what i mean but we secured the catch boys you know what i mean so it's a w at the end of the day you know we shot both the fish we set out for i'm all stoked and i realized this is all i need so in this case let's head out already Baby, uh, not bad. Papio, small red. Let's go, baby. Uh, I will change back to my clothes and let's figure out how we're gonna eat this thing. All right, boys, so I'm gonna decide how we're gonna eat this fish. I'm pretty stoked, I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty stoked. It's been a minute, I didn't catch a papillo in a while. All right, I'm gonna pack everything up, hike this mountain like I'm Billy Gold. They don't call me Race Gold for nothing. And then we's out, let's get it. Ooh, this is heavy. I got the backpack, the fish, my wagon. Damn. I mean, it's one thing coming down, but coming up, ooh. Bountiful builds. Put some muscle on his twig legs. Wet slippers too. bad boy off fish idea right yes, what I said ah this fucking wagon <sighs> can come in and clutch oh I'm getting old I love this wagon ah 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 it on in the slipper I hate when that happens Okay. Ooh. Oh, your boy is all stoked. I am stoked. <laughs> That's how it goes, boys. If you want something, you gotta just go and do it. You gotta go and get it. Can't wait around anybody. Just go. out head back to the truck and we see where we cook this thing up now you shoot you fat okay we're 
back in a truck. Oof. That was a long ass walk. That boy is tired. <laughs> oh, the squeak is waking everybody up. <laughs> What's up, you fuckers? Okay, change of plan. So we was gonna cook the papilla at my house, but now we decided we're just gonna cook it at the beach. So yeah, I'm back again with my wagon. You know how much I love this thing. You compare me and my... Mm, it's about same same as much as I love my girl. Yeah, huh? about same same. We just started the trail. Oh, I see somebody over there already. We're gonna have to go deep in this fuck. We're gonna have to try and get the middle. Halfway through, not even halfway through, huh? Still trekking. Wait, you actually go, go in this wagon too? <laughs> yeah, right, you <laughs> popped my tires. <laughs> so you can go in this wagon. You make me do wheelies. You pull me too, huh? I don't know what it is. pull me too, huh? What is pull me too, huh? Okay. Oh, right here. Yeah? What you think? Yeah, let's go. Trail right here. This is me, boss. Match made in heaven right here. Might be the spot, guys. There's a rumor going round. All right, a cinematic. Ding, 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 ding. Okay, is this the spot? I'm a shade. Okay, what's up, you fuckers? Okay, so boom, we out here. Okay, so first things first, got a cutting board, got a fillet knife. <laughs>